So today I'm going to be showing you how you guys can edit green screen footage in Shotcut. But with that said, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started with the video. Okay guys, so right now we're in Shotcut and I've opened all my files that I'm going to be using for this tutorial and I have created two video track timelines down right here in the timeline section. Now in order to create a video track, all you have to do is just go to these three little bars underneath the timeline and select add video track. From there, we're just going to get our green screen clip and drag it down and place it on the top track. And as you can see, this is the little green screen clip that I just chosen and it's just a little smoke effect, but you guys can use any green screen clip or image that you guys are planning to use. Next, I'm just going to drag my original clip and I'm just going to place that underneath the green screen. And as you can see, the only thing you can see in the preview window is the smoke green screen on right now. So in order to remove that little green screen background, all we have to do is to make sure we select our green screen clip, go to filters and hit that little plus button. And we're just going to type in chroma. Now you have a variety of options. Now there are two ways to remove the green screen effect. And right now we can go with chroma key simple. And as you can see, it's already keying out that green accent. But let's say that you guys have a different background. It might be a blue background or any other different background. All you have to do is just go to the key color and the color picker tool and just select on the green screen or whatever color background you have that you're trying to remove and it'll remove automatically. Now from there, you're just going to manage that little toggle so you guys can get rid of the green screen background and the edges. But you don't want to put it too much because you're going to remove your actual image or video clip and we don't want that. Now from here, I'm just going to show you how to do the second way of removing the green screen background or chroma keying. But for now, we're just going to uncheck the chroma key simple. We're going to go back to the chroma key advanced. Now we're just going to use the color picker tool, like I said again, and it removes the green screen background. From there, we're going to use the color space and we're going to keep it at red, green, and blue. And from there, we can use these toggles and we can actually adjust even further the edges of the green screen and make it even finer. Now this, you actually have to experiment with because not all settings are the same but right now i am just adjusting to what seems better on my screen right now but like i said before you guys may have to adjust your settings accordingly to what clip or image you guys are using as a green screen background but as you can see for now, this actually is pretty close to what I want to. There's very fine edges in around this clip, around the smoke, and you can barely see any green background in this video clip. So now I'm just going to play it so you guys can see how it looks like just a little bit and to see how the effect keeps going. Now these are just two ways that you guys can use in order to use the chroma key settings and remove any green screen background that you guys may be using. Now here we have the chroma key simple and the chroma key advanced and you guys can use either one. Play around with the settings to see what gives you the best result. But for now we have completed our green screen removal of this video clip and the next thing to do is just to export it. And I actually have a full on tutorial showing you the best export settings for Shotcut when you're exporting this video for your personal needs or even for you project but that is basically how you guys can remove a green screen background in shotcut so i hope this video helped you guys out but before we go i do suggest that you guys go check out my shotcut tutorial playlist because i have so many tutorials teaching you guys new tricks and tips that you guys can use to edit better using shotcut as well as any other videos in the channel that may help you guys out as well but that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one